Hi, welcome to Humanities 101M. If you're watching this video, that means you found the Canvas site, you were able to open it, and that's already a good sign. So if you're watching this, uh, so far so good. I'm Dr. Lee Blackburn. I'm teaching the course. I'm looking forward to it, but it's only fair to warn you that this is actually my first online course to teach. And so I'm going to ask that you be patient with me. There's going to be some things I'm just going to have to learn on the job. The plus side for you is that it's going to make me more patient with you. And I, I, I'm, I'm sure many of you will have some technical snags and things like that. And uh, I promise I'll be patient with you as long as I can tell that you're diligently trying to resolve those problems. Um, just a couple of things I want to say in this welcome video. I'll try to keep things as brief as possible. Um, I think with a course like this, communication is going to be absolutely key. So particularly in cases where things are going awry on the technical end, let me know right away. Don't um, walk away for a couple of days and then come back. If you're having a hard time submitting something or finding something, then uh, email me. And email is generally going to be the best way to get a hold of me. You can either you know, go and use your Milligan email and email me from, from your inbox or from inside. Canvas, either one is fine. So that's all I would ask is that you would keep in touch with me, not just when things go wrong on the technical end, but also when you have any kind of questions about expectations, what I'm looking for in a given assignment, anything like that. Don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. Um, I think that the key to this course, and this is very new for me, and it may be new for some of you, is that I really set up the course so that it is very much a week by week affair. When I teach this class in the classroom, you know, we have four units and nominally we have four units in, in the online course as well. But on, in, in this version, in the online version, uh, really it's, you should think in terms of weeks. So you, do all of your weekly assignments and then that's water under the bridge and you move on to the next week and um, so that that I think is the best way to approach the class I will try to set it up so that you can get a little bit ahead if your schedule really demands that um, but I, 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 I don't think you should try to get any further ahead than than one week certainly. So um, expect to be able to have access to assignments and things for the current week and then um, the, the, the next week. Um, so just, you know, at the beginning of every week, sit down, log into to, to Canvas, look at the site, look at the, um, the assignments that are coming up and, 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 and plan accordingly. Let me just give you a sense of what the normal workflow will look like. You know, some weeks may be a little bit different, but there will be a kind of pattern or rhythm to the class. I think in normal circumstances, the first thing you want to do when you're entering a new week is watch the introductory videos that I will create for the course. There'll usually be two or three of them. Um, I try to keep them 30 minutes or less watch them. They're, 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 they're there to orient you to the week, to prepare you, uh, to prime you for the readings. As soon as you've watched a lecture, and, and I think you are one of my videos, and, and taking notes while you do that, as soon as you've done that, I would encourage you to go ahead and take the quiz that corresponds to that video. The quizzes will literally last five minutes, so they're short, but I would go ahead and take them while the material is fresh on your mind, your notes are right there in front of you, you can certainly use them. So as soon as you just get in that habit, as soon as you've watched the video, take the quiz that goes along with it. 
each quiz pertains to just one video, not all of them, but just to one of them. So do that. Now, th there are some weeks where you may want to go ahead and get a jump on the reading, maybe even before you finished all the videos. I'll kind of try to give you a heads up or warning to let you know when you might want to do that. But by and large, the idea is watch the videos first, then move on to the readings. As you're doing the readings, you want to take notes and you want to use the study guide to help you out. That's right there at the top of um, the modules on the, on the Canvas site. So print that out and use that to help you as you read your assignments. And then at some point, and it doesn't really matter that much when, but at some point you'll want to watch the video, uh, the, the lecture or lectures that have been uploaded. And occasionally I will be the one giving the lecture, but mercifully for you, usually it'll be somebody else. And these are just the lectures that were taped from last fall. And so you'll want to watch those and take good notes on those because you will be tested over them. Um, and that brings me to the next point. This is a constant for, for every week of the course, all 15 weeks, there will be a quiz at the end. Usually due by midnight on Sunday night. So you have all week to prepare. Of course, if you want to take it earlier, you can, if you feel like you're already well prepared. But let me be clear on what these quizzes cover and what they don't. You will not be asked anything about my videos because you've already taken quizzes on those, so I'm not going to quiz you on them again. But these weekly quizzes, for these weekly quizzes, anything in your assigned readings for that week is going to be fair game. And I, I really will try to use the study guide as I prepare those quizzes so that if you're if you know the study guide inside and out then you should be well prepared but the weekly quizzes will also quiz you on material from the lecture or lectures for that week as well okay so um, you need to be to have watched those taken good notes on those and, and, and all that finally every week there's going to be some kind of written assignment Either you are going to be asked to participate in a discussion forum, or you will be asked to write an essay. And ordinarily, you're going to be alternating between them. So some weeks, one week you'll have a discussion forum you're involved with, the next week you write an essay. Now there, there's a bit of an exception to that early on in the course, but for the most part, there's that alternation. So you never have more than one written assignment per week. You're either going to be participating in a discussion forum or you're going to be submitting an essay. Okay. Um, so that's the basic rhythm of the class. And you know, none of the weekly quizzes are going to be cumulative or anything like that. So obviously I don't want you to forget everything that you've learned um, you know, on a week by week basis. But at the same time, there won't be any cumulative exam or something like that at the end. So um, every uh, assignment is going to pertain to material from that week and from that week only. And hopefully that will make the course a bit more manageable because the course is challenging enough as it is. So I think your first task is to really familiarize yourself with Canvas and look over the module. So that's what you'll want to do really, uh, you know, probably on a daily basis. You log in to Canvas, you click on Humanities 101M, you find modules there on the left column, you click on that and you find the appropriate week. Um, so um, I hope that'll all be straightforward. Again, that's something you, if you have any questions about, I, I want you to let me know. I do want you to look over the syllabus because the syllabus is going to have a lot more information about what I'm looking for in essays or what I'm looking for in discussion forums and that sort of thing. 
there is a schedule, a weekly schedule in the, in the syllabus, but really everything you need to know about your weekly schedule, your weekly task is right there under modules in Canvas. So even though the syllabus is very important, um, you may not actually use the weekly schedule from the syllabus all that much. It's fine if you do, it's fine if you don't. So familiarize yourself with Canvas and really you can, I, I published everything that pertains to week one. So you can go ahead and get started anytime. You don't have to wait until Wednesday to do that. Um, you'll want to watch my, there's just one video that I made for week one. You want to watch that. You can go ahead and get started on the readings. Uh, there's a lecture to watch and your first your, your written assignment for week one is a, a discussion forum. I think more often than not, I'm going to close those forums on Fridays, but since this is a short week, I'm going to keep it open through Monday on uh, through midnight on Sunday. So you'll have some, some time, plenty of time to, to make your contributions. So I'm looking forward to this venture. I think it, can be a, a, a beneficial learning experience. I hope it will be. Let me know what I can do to, to make it so for you. And like I said, don't hesitate when you run into any kind of snag, whether it's a technical snag or you don't quite understand what I want in an assignment, just shoot me an email and I will do my very best to get back with you very, very promptly. All right. Thanks.